All right, let me just make a brief correction here. Um, well, I guess it's not entirely a correction. I mean, I knew I was wrong. Well, incomplete last time at least. So I was stuck on why in the interior angles of the eye face works out the 2 pi V. It's actually really simple, as is explained in O'Neill. Um, so if you look at a particular vertex, the, all of the interior angles in that vertex, of course, are giving you 2 pi. Um, you know, this, the total angle here, interior angle is 2 pi. But then how many, how many times, you know, if you think about the totality of the rectangularization, the total number of times that that happens is, is there's one at each vertex, right? So a simple way to count all of the interior angles is just say V times 2 pi. That gives you the, the total interior angle. That was the thing I was stuck on as I expected. It wasn't that complicated. Now here's an example I promised of a rectangularization. Um, See here, I'm not sure you can see the whole thing at once, but this is a torus. So if you think about it, if you just take the top circle of the torus and draw a red line all the way around, right? And then take one of these, um, I, I suppose, then take this blue, blue line like this around the other direction, like that. Then if you think about it, what I have here is these you know, there's the only there's only one vertex in this rectangularization. One rectangle covers the whole torus. There's just this one vertex right there, right? How many edges are there? There is, let's see here, this one edge, um, and then this edge. So there's two edges and there's one vertex, and there's one face, so how does that work out? Right. How does that work out? Sorry. We'll find the formula here. Come on, where'd you go? So the Euler characteristic is V minus E plus F. I should have, I should know that by now, oh well. And so we just figured out for the torus, oh, my worst picture, <laughs> picture of a torus yet. But you can cover it by one rectangle actually, right? If you just think about it, um, you can just use that one rectangle to cover the whole thing, right? So there's that one vertex and right. So the characteristic for the torus, one vertex um, minus how many edges? Two edges, right? The red edge and the blue edge, and then plus how many faces? One face. So other characteristic of torus, zero. There's the proof. Um, anyway, so that concludes the uh, lecture on the Gauss-Bonnet theorem. Next up, applications of Gauss-Bonnet. Thanks.